My name is Ann Miller. I'm director of New Hampshire Peace Action, and I live and work in Concord, New Hampshire. A New Hampshire Peace Action and American Friends Service Committee sat down and plotted about how we could get our anti-war message out to voters, out to the press, and most importantly out to the candidates in the final four days of the campaign between the Iowa caucus and the New Hampshire primary. And we knew about the Yellow Rose of Texas Peace Bus, and we invited the owner and driver, also a Vietnam era veteran, Jim Goodnow, to come to New Hampshire and tour the state with us and go bird dog presidential candidates and it's been just an amazing four days. Who have you bird dogged? Well, we started on Friday by uh, seeing uh, Senator Obama and then ending up uh, later that day in Milford at the Democratic dinner where Senator Obama and Senator Clinton and Congressman Kucinich were. We've been on the Peace Bus 12 to 16 hours a day over the last four days, and we've just clocked probably close to a thousand miles on the Peace Bus for mileage. This vehicle we purchased on 9 September 2005. We purchased it in the town of Alpine, Texas, nearby where I live. We've been on the road for two years and three months. We've been in 31 states. We've been multiple times in and out of the District of Columbia. We've traveled from the Gulf of Mexico up to the Canadian border and from the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. Uh, over 50,000 miles on the odometer and she's a rolling traveling uh, pole machine. She weighs 26,000 pounds. We're getting about 15 peace signs to every one finger salute and uh, that's about what that mission's about there. It's been a bird dogging campaign to bring peace issues, nuclear issues, and economic justice issues to the forefront of the campaigns. And we've attended more candidate events than is healthy for any human being. We've trained citizens all over the state how to ask good, focused, intelligent questions about sub substantial issues um, in a way that forces candidates to, to either obviously not answer or to give a, a, an answer of substance. The suicide rate of the returning men and women from in-country in Iraq is off the scale. It's a little difficult to get an accurate account of, accounting of this from the Department of Defense. They don't want that information to be, apparently, to be uh, made public. So it's just been really an amazing time with a real diversity of people and everybody caring really desperately about the need to end this war as quickly as possible, to prevent war with Iran, and to redirect the spending that's being dumped into our military and dumped into this war to fund human needs.